As the Chinese, as well as the global electric vehicle market, is starting to be dominated by the Tesla Model Y, there are a few exciting pieces of stuff about the Model Y you must know. Yep, most exclusively, it's batteries. The new Tesla Model Y comes with the all-new structural battery pack, consisting of the fresh 4680 lithium-ion cells and its new battery architecture built around the new cell, both being announced at Tesla's Battery Day. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server to discuss future topics. Yeah, Tesla, with its all-new 4680 lithium-ion cells, claims it could be much better than the previous generation battery packs, and it would mean as if the old pack was a potato gun, the new one could take it to the French fries level. The 4680 is a modern type of cylindrical cell, which was under development by Tesla for a long time. It claims to store five times more energy and should allow an increased range by 16%, so we could expect corresponding energy density losses, but can offer up to six times the power output. The power output and limited overheating stand up as the key characteristics. The batteries will be wielded in a unique structural battery to further reduce the weight and, by the way, boost the stiffness of the car. The new cell design entirely and battery integration with the car enables improving the range up to about 30% without modifications within the battery chemistry. While the new battery structure is exclusively made for the Model S plate, which is a high-performance car and could explain why the company is not yet ready for the market launch. The above-mentioned power output and restricted overheating are some of the factors for the high-performance car. They would also elucidate why the plate's estimated range is 520 plus miles when compared to 402 miles EPA at the prime of the Model S long range. That's about 29.3% extra. The company has now begun to manufacture the Model Y with these new 4680 cells and is intending to apply the same to the Cybertruck as well as the Semi. The Model Y is also the most advanced vehicle Tesla makes in regards to manufacturing. Model Y also has other benefits over Model 3, including less weight because Model 3 is overplanned in places, and hence Model Y can be made with more efficiency and energy efficiency, with greater range and perhaps lower in cost with this new tech. Tesla can overhaul all the mistakes in the Model 3 body engineering and end up with a car that's easier to compile and inexpensive to build. Tesla equipped the Model Y, which will roll from the production line of the Gigafactory in Texas and from the plant in Berlin, with the all-new 4680 battery cells straight from the start. There were also reports that up to 20,000 vehicles couldn't be delivered during the initial stages because of a missing part. The new Model Y also includes a different battery architecture, basically inspired by an aerospace design of erecting an aeroplane wings as fuel tanks rather than constructing the fuel tanks inside the wings. They use a one-piece cast for the underbody and shortly will have a single-piece front cast. Tesla chose to build a battery pack that functions as a body structure, associating the front and rear underbody fractions. In reality, Elon announced that they got rid of about 300 robots by making this change. The new revised version of Model 3 will use the exact manufacturing technique as the Model Y in the recently built new factories, as they can't completely shut down their only factory producing Model 3s for the entire globe. The new plants in Berlin and Austin will use a newly improved technique where the car will nearly be built like a toy car. Three major parts for the underbody are bolted on together, reducing complexness and thus expenses. Presently, Tesla manufactures battery packs by incorporating cells into modules, which are later arranged to form a battery pack. That battery pack is introduced into the car's platform. The distinction with this fresh concept is that Tesla is not employing modules and instead assembling the entire battery pack as the structural platform of the car, along with the battery cells, enabling it to solidify the platform as one large unit. Overall, there will be two casts, one rear underbody and one front underbody, with a structural battery pack in the middle uniting the two, which will take the weight of the vehicle. This new method decreases the number of parts, the total volume of the battery pack, and therefore facilitates Tesla to improve efficiency and mutually the range of the current Model Y and the other vehicles in the Tesla model lineup. 
Tesla announced that it'll be able to fix the seats directly on it and lower the body around them, which is going to vastly simplify the assembly process. All these manufacturing advancements put together are anticipated to considerably enhance the cost and performance of the Model Y. The new cell has five times the energy density and six times the power of its previous Panasonic-built 2170 cells, but Musk conveniently neglected to mention the larger 4680 has nearly 5.5 times the size, completely due to larger bulks, as 46 times 80 millimeters versus 21 times 70 millimeters. The bigger size could also bring larger advantages. There are 4,680 cells that are placed in a sort of honeycomb pattern, then coupled together using some sort of glue. That's the true power of the 4680s. Turning literally hundreds of numerous parts to three main elements on the vehicle. This is the true cost conservations of the 4680s that will allow Tesla to lessen expenditures while maintaining the rest of the vehicle intact. Each roll cell packs in more effective battery material and small expended space in metal containing. It's also called cell to pack construction, praised as a Tesla innovation, and is in fact already a stack of several EVs, particularly in China, including General Motors, roughly $5,000 Wuling Mini. That conserves more space by exchanging multiple module cases for a more streamlined pallet of compartments wired in parallel. The Tesla Cybertruck would be one power-hungry beast which would be waiting to swap its battery with the new ones, and we all know what that beast is capable of. In my opinion, I think the revised version of Model 3 won't be launched until sometime around 2023, until all the other models in the lineup get the very same battery pack as the Model Y. What do you think? Mention your views in the comment section below. Anyways, let's get back onto something better, the new color variants on the Tesla Model Y. The colors of a car are like beauty, it's in the eye of the beholder. At the last Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg County Fair, Tesla exhibited the factory, encompassing the upcoming structural battery pack with the 4680 type cylindrical cells, as well as several other exhibits related to made in Germany Model Y's complexions. From the statements from Tesla Giga Berlin's guests, Tesla said that the Model Y bodies inside the plant were in two shades of crimson red and deep blue. Furthermore, there were also some fancy Model Ys on display outside, which would have been a demo of paint shop capabilities, somewhat than an evidence of a particular color. The German plant is convinced to be furnished with a state-of-the-art paint shop, which will be able to attain an extraordinary color depth. This is a fine improvement from the current basic five color recommendation, the white, black, blue, red, and gray. There are also reports there might be a third or new color, khaki. An image posted on LinkedIn in mid-February by the way of recruitment indicates a dark green and also a black color. Anyway, it seems that at least in Europe, Tesla will amplify its game in terms of paint. We might possibly see something comparable in the US with the launch of the Tesla Giga Austin in Texas. The existing colors of white, black, and gray cars are resold simpler than red or blue. That's why a limited number of red and blue color cars are manufactured. New colors, innovations in battery technology. We don't know what to expect next from Tesla in the upcoming years. Oh yeah, maybe the Roadster. We haven't heard from Tesla about the new redesigned version of the electric supercar. With the new battery tech, things could go way higher than we could anticipate. And that's about it for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're a huge fan of what Tesla is doing in the automotive industry. If you want to know more about the Model 3 and the Model S played reviews, do check out our other videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one.